Remove forehand tightened nuts. Remove the entire heated bed assembly, making sure to keep the springs together. Loosen the screws securing the passive wheel bracket. Remove both ends of the timing belt from the slider board. Remove the passive wheel bracket. Slide the slider board out from the extrusion profile. Remove the six bomb wheels from the slider board. Secure the long bracket to the M4T nut with an M48 screw, but do not tighten it yet. Place the pre-printed positioning base under the extrusion profile. Position the lol bracket on the side of the extrusion profile. Secure the long bracket to the positioning base on top using a clamping mechanism. Adjust the distance between the long bracket and the limit switch to around 20 mm. If the slider doesn't have a tape measure, use silicone gaskets for positioning. Then tighten the screws on the long bracket. Secure the linear rail to the long bracket using M36 screws, starting from the rear of the machine. Place the pre-printed limit stop plate on the slider closest to the limit switch. Place two silicone gaskets together on the slider, with one on the slider with the limit stop plate. Position the short bracket on top of the silicone gaskets and secure it with M312 screws. Be careful not to over tighten any screw. Adjust the screw tightness to allow smooth sliding of the slider. Place six circular silicone gaskets above the threaded holes of the short bracket. Secure the slider board to the short bracket using M510 screws. Mount the passive wheel bracket onto the extrusion profile. Fasten both ends of the timing belt to the slider board. Adjust the tension of the timing belt and tighten the screws on the passive wheel bracket. Reassemble the springs and heated bed assembly onto the slider board. Attach the hand tightened nuts. Before printing, you'll need to relevel the heated bed. 